Maybe. Am I live? Hey, I'm you live. You look live. I look live. Johnny Five is live. All right, it's total chaos Everybody here. see me in the chair next to you in the invisible seat? Yeah, I got I got James sitting right here What's next up, to me. Oh, this house is total chaos this afternoon, but we're still going live. Um, final upgrade for the bomber. I finally got one, 1080. ESC. You actually got two of them. I did. We won't yeah. talk about where I found them, yeah. but I did find them. It was a struggle. It was a struggle. Yeah. Struggle is real. Um, these are these are a rare commodity right now. I was um, actually kind of shocked. If you I want finally... one, we'll start a live bid here at 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 how much? Um, let's see. They go for fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. So we'll start at a hundred bucks. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, because apparently these are are super rare, which they are. Nobody is really getting anything from Hobby Win right now, which really sucks. I know on Amazon, they have them on there. They're not going to show up for probably a few weeks, but. The um the inflation cost of these on Amazon is going up from, I believe when they came out or they became pretty popular in the last year they were only like forty one bucks forty two bucks yeah now they're online like, last I looked was a few weeks ago yeah like sixty some dollars yeah I, and it would I, take a month to get these yeah I found one on on Amazon fifty seven bucks but it would be like two weeks out in shipping so they are inflating the cost of these a little bit because of availability so if you've never seen one of these. You got your ESC, comes with an XT60 plug. Anything also, but a Dean's, and I'm happy. Yeah, it also comes with a program, program card. card. And your program harness. Oh, yeah, and the program harness, which means once I get this plugged into my bomber, I can program this to do what I want it to do, like a good little ESC. Still alive, sweet. This connection is actually pretty good. It's not too terrible. I really need a haircut. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. The hair's getting out of control on yeah, top man. of that mop top. If I wear these trucker hats too much in the summer because I'm bald, I'll take my hat off and you'll see a pattern on my head of it going through this. And it's quite hilarious. You just get like a grid? Yeah, I get it. It's like a grid on my head. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's like, did you run around with a screen, a, a storm door screen on your head all day? I was like, sure did. All right. Oh, and then the other thing we're doing, what are we doing with that? Um, my Element Enduro Sendero, um, my first Element purchase was the Trail Walker. I've always wanted the Sendero. I know the only difference is the body, um, but I actually was able to grab one because I've <clears throat> always want two of every crawler, to be honest with you. Um, I hate how I can't verify that I'm... But we're going to put a, um, a Hobby Wing 1080... And a Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster Sport 550 27 turn in it. Um, wasn't a huge fan of Holmes Hobbies at first with the Torque Master Expert. I'm still because, not a fan uh, of those. We had some. Unless you're crawling, crawling yeah. with them, then they're good. We didn't realize that they weren't very actual outdoor trail friendly, especially with moisture. But Trailmaster Sport 550 has been awesome so far. Um, the can is a little bit bigger, but they got a. They make a little bit more torque, but um, bang for the buck, not bad. I think these were like 25 bucks. Yeah, they're very comparable to the um, Axial motors. And so far, everyone that we yeah. put in the sealed cans of it's, Home's Hobbies has held yeah, up pretty good. Especially in the water, because we do take our stuff in the water a lot. Um, the Axial motors, the stock brush motors, still have great luck with them, I believe. If you look at our videos, the 19 Wraith, I believe that that truck spent the majority of its time in Double Rock State Parks River. Yes. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that um, the first time I took it crawling or trail crawling anywhere near water, that was the first thing I wanted to do is take it for a swim. But um, so far, these, if you're into trail crawling, they're doing pretty good in the water. Um, I don't have any complaints. My um, they're a little loud. They are a little loud. My two two wraith and my um element enduro trail walker has one, and I'm getting ready to put this one in my uh, sendero. Couldn't quite get to that. Yeah, one. and this is Richard Savvy. Um, Savvy. Yeah, he's had nothing. Marco. 
He's had nothing but fun throwing parts at this thing ever since he got it. I don't even think the uh, I don't even think it's starting to collect cobwebs. The tires yeah. haven't even met the road yet. It, it it hasn't even ran across the basement floor. So it literally has cobwebs. Yeah. So I'm off tomorrow. Hopefully, I can talk Richard here into going crawling tomorrow or something. I think we got two people watching. Two people. Well, look at what time it is. Oh, we got a thumbs up. Yeah, it's what what time is it? Four twenty-seven. Yeah, I wanted to go early today. Yeah. I didn't want to go too late. Usually, um, we're a little bit later than this. Oh, well, that sucks. What's up, Island RC? That's no good, man. What happened? Take the side panel off. I broke my connector. Did you? Oh, wait, no. Can I start ripping mine apart? Yeah, okay. All right. Unless you want to be here all night. Mm, well, I can't because, you know, somebody's coming over and we got to go to the grocery store. I ate McDonald's for dinner yesterday and I ate Taco Bell for lunch today because I need to go to the grocery store. And um, I really don't like eating that junk. Um, it What's just up, gives, Island Duke? It gives my stomach hell later on. Did you say hi to him? I did. Yeah, I, I say, heard I, you say something. Yeah. I ignore James 90% of the time. Oh, the YouTube name is Hot Rod. We don't, if for those of you who don't know who I am. Yeah, when I first started the channel, I didn't like using people's names, but nobody seems to care, so I don't care anymore. Yeah, so he calls me Hot Rod because um, my gas finger is a little heavy on everything that I own. What is that now? Gas finger. That's the, the latest. Dude, that guy is hilarious. Yeah. If you don't know who we're talking about, you need to find him. Yeah. I'm not going to give you his name. Just search for him on on uh. He's on Facebook mostly. Yeah. Right? Gas finger. Gas finger. Um. Because I don't remember his real name. <laughs> use this 1.5 to get this dirt. <laughs> Look. Yeah. That's the best part about the 1.5. I use it the. Get a little bit of dirt out. It's kind of the only reason I use the one five most. Of the time. I hate anything that uses a one point five. I mean, body panel wise, it's cool, but like on the the enduro one point five millimeter grub screw, I absolutely hate that. I really do. Oh yeah, that's I the one that's stripped out. Yeah, to they, honest in the middle of the woods. Yep, I can't stand it. You end up. I haven't uploaded that video yet. What happens when you strip these out? You can't get them out at all, ever. Richard came up with this, and what we do is leave your stripped-out gear mounted to the motor, and you just squeeze this guy in a bench vise, your pinion gear, and then take a punch tool and just tap on the, um, the motor shaft. So that and, way you're not putting any yeah. stress onto that motor shaft. Right. All the stress is on the pinion, and you're just driving that shaft through. Yeah, you're there. driving the shaft through, and what you do is you tap it, and the motor just falls right out of it. So so that way you don't have to worry about yeah. destroying the innards of your can. My Element Enduro, the first one I got, the Reedy, the Reedy 16 turn 5 slot, um, it didn't run very smooth. I don't know what was up with it, but this one in the Sendero, the motor actually was very quiet, very smooth, but um, I don't know. I I like that motor a lot yeah. more than I like that other one. Yeah, it was the same the, motor the that came with the motor. other one. It's the same motor, but I think it was Is just it a, really. Yeah, I think it was just a bad, a bad can. Um, but I've been putting Holmes hobbies and everything, and I'm just going to stick to that. It sounded um, like it had a bad bearing. I put Holmes it didn't hobbies, run really good, but that one ran good. Yeah. So we've built the habit of uh, Holmes hobbies and just about everything. If it's not an axial brush motor. The Hobbywing 1080s and then um, Reefs RC servos have become some of our favorites as well. I just realized I'm going to lose my lights. So am I. Because it's got everything but, connected to that. But you could put a Y splitter on the 1080. No, what I'm going to have to do is just do a JST connector, which I have some. Do you? Yeah, I'll have to pop. Yeah, because mine. Oh, that's a whole other project I'm not going to get into right now. What the lights? Yeah, I'll just worry yeah, about. I the I like the lights that come on trucks, but I hate how the wiring. I hate how the wiring has to just flop and dangle from the body, which I know there's no other way around it unless you put bumper mounted lights in, but it won't look like 
more of a scale detail vehicle that way. These don't fit the stock motor mounts, do they? You need to replace what? those too. No, they're heavy duty. So got these on Amazon. Um, a couple of people were actually impressed with them. They're cheap. These are good up to 12 gauge. I know you can't really see them, but you crimp them on and then it's heat shrink. So once you get them all on there, you hit it with a, a heat gun and this stuff shrinks. They're pretty decent. Um, I've already made my leads up on my Holmes Hobbies motor, but 